my kids, this is Sir Romel and welcome to another episode of my video which is about addition and subtraction of decimal numbers with rounding off numbers. Now let's talk about rounding off numbers. So let's recall the process on how to round off decimals. Add 1 to the digit in the rounding place if the digit to its right is 5 or greater. Otherwise, leave the digit unchanged and then drop all digits after the rounding place. Okay, nakuha nyo ba yun? Well, if not, then let us continue. Well, basically, the best way to understand the problem is by giving an example. So, let us try this example. A birdhouse was built 6 and 243,000 meters above the ground. Round to the nearest full number. So there you go. The problem asks you to round the number to the nearest full number. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so let's have step 1 identify the rounding place so if this is our number 6 and 243 thousands which one is our rounding rounding place okay so it's 6 because we are asked to round up the number to the nearest whole number and our whole number is 6 so now we identify the rounding place let's go to the next step Okay, step 2. Look at the digit which is to the right of the rounding place. So if this is our if this is our rounding place which is 6. What is the number to the right of this number? Okay, so that is number 2. Okay? This is the number. Okay, let's go to the next. Now, if the digit is less than 5, do not change the digit in the rounding place. Then, change the numbers to zeros. So, if according to this, if the digit that is to the right, which is 2, to the right of the rounding place is less than 5 and 2 is less than 5, so, do not change the digit in the rounding place. So, hindi mo siya babaguhin. 6 pa rin siya. Okay? And then, change the numbers to zeros. So, that will become 1, 3, zeros. Okay. And that is already your answer. That is how to round up the number to the nearest full number. If the digit, but if the digit is 5 or greater, Add 1 to the digit in the rounding place. Let's say for example, you have 6 and 743,000. Again, we are going to round up the number to the nearest whole number. So that is 6. Diba? Yan yung whole number natin. And then, ano yung nasa right side niya? That is 7. And 7, sabi dito, if the digit is 5 or greater. So 7 yan. So, that is greater than 5. So, ano daw gagawin? Add 1 to the digit in the rounding place. So, magdadagdag tayo dito ng plus 1 sa rounding place. The number in the rounding place, which is 6. So, kaya 6 plus 1, magiging 7. Diba? 7 na siya. And then, anong gagawin natin dito? So, wala na. That will become 0. So your answer here is 7. That is if you are going to round up the digit to the nearest full number. Okay, so let us have this problem. Estimate the sum of the given situation by rounding the amount to the highest peso value. Okay, so when we say estimate the sum, that means we are going to round up first the numbers given before adding. Okay. So, alin daw to the highest peso value. So, highest peso value. So, here, dito sa 32 pesos and 65 centavos, 
ang highest peso value here is 3. Okay? So, that is our rounding place. Now, ang nasa right niya is 2. So, and 2 is less than 5. So, mas mababa sa 5. So, ano daw gagawin? So, remain yung 3. Okay? Remain, do not add anything. So, 3 pa rin siya. And then, yung 2 magiging 0. Okay? Next one. 7 pesos and 25 centavos. So, ang rounding place natin is 7. And then, ang numbers sa right natin ay 2. So, ano mangyayari? Magiging 0. Dadagdagan natin ng 7? No. Why? Because 2 is less than 5. So, magiging 7 pa rin. 7 pesos. Next one. 6 is our rounding place. And then, ang number to the right is 2. So, still, this is less than 5. So, we're not going to add anything. Still, this will be 6. Next one. 8 pesos and 70 centavos. So, 8 pesos is our rounding place. And then, ang right niya is 7. So, 7 is more than 5. So, ano daw sabi? Pag more than 5, ang nasa right number niya, right side. Okay, we're going to add 1. So, 8 plus 1, that will become 9. Okay? So, that will become 9 pesos. May 9 pesos na siya. Ito ay 6 pesos, 7 pesos, and then 30 pesos. And then, we can now add. So, 30 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9. So, that will give you 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 9 is 22. Again, 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay. So, 52 pesos is the estimated sum. Okay? Okay, so let's go to adding and subtracting decimals. So, this is similar to the process of adding and subtracting whole numbers. For example, add 25 hundreds plus 3 hundreds plus 756 ten thousands. So, how are we going to add this? So, let's go to the next slide. So, step 1. So, we have to align the decimal points in column followed by the numbers. So, align natin muna decimal point. Unahin natin decimal point. And then, followed by the numbers. So, numbers. Una is 0, 24, and then 0, 0, 5, and then 0 again, and 0, 3, 5, and 1. And then, next one. Insert zeros on empty decimal places. As in yung empty decimal places. So, ito yung empty decimal places. Kasi may 51 dito sa baba. So, nawawala yung mga katapat niya. So, what are we going to do? So, we add daw zeros para hindi tayo malito. Okay, so since this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so lahat na sila may 4 digits. So we're now ready to step 3 to add. Okay, add na natin. 0, 0, that is 1. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 4 plus 5 plus 3 is 12. Carry 1. 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. And then bring down, that will be okay, 0. Uh, decimal point and then zero and that is your final answer and question easy right okay so let's have more exercises arrange in column and add the following decimal numbers okay so arrange natin so first we're going to what Okay, arrange or put the decimal point in column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, write down the numbers. So, add up 0, then 0, 0, 8. 
Then next one, 0, then 0, 2. And then, 0, we have 0, 0, then 8, 7. Next one, 0, then 3, 9. And then, 0, 3, 6, 6, 1. Next, next step is we are going to put zeros on the empty space. Yes, one. Ito yung dalawa. Another zero. Okay, so wala na space. So, let us now add. So, zero plus zero plus seven plus zero plus one is eight. And then eight plus zero plus eight is sixteen. Plus six is... 22 carry 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 9 is 13 plus 6 is 19 carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 4 plus 3 is 7 and then bring down decimal point decimal point then bring down 0 this is your final answer. Okay. Check. Good job.